the pride of our laddus was diminished by chandrababu naidu he intentionally planted a seed of doubt that the laddus were not good to eat even though he knew very well that he was lying and as far as these temp- and as far as these tenders are concerned it's a routine process every 6 months procurement of tender happens i'd like to say i i i, I like everybody to notice these aspects i like everybody to see these aspects what happened during the so called controversy on laddus tirumala tirupati devasthanam reputation has been lowered by chandrababu naidu the the pride of our laddus was diminished by chandrababu naidu he intentionally planted a seed of doubt that the laddus were not good to eat even though he knew very well that he was lying I mean if one were to just see the facts what took place see this the concept of this procurement of material for preparation of laddus or preparation of prasadams is not new this has been going on for decades tirumala tirupati devasthanam board is a very pristine board you have people from all walks of life from different states who are board members in fact to get a membership onto the board you actually have recommendations from central ministers you have recommendations from the neighboring state chief ministers such is the esteemness of this board such is the pristine of this board and these board members work there in a very transparent manner with the only intent to ensure that whatever they do they do it for the good of the temple with that motto in mind they work and as far as these temp- and as far as these tenders are concerned it's a routine process every 6 months procurement of tender happens procurement of these materials to prepare the prasadams or laddus is a routine practice the government does not get involved it's an autonomous body it's the board which takes the decisions the pre the conditions which are applicable for anybody to be participating in these tenders are also not new they have been in existence also for decades the quality of the material what is asked for is also been the same for decades it's a routine process and during the course of this routine process which takes place every 6 months e tenders have been called for and based on the e tenders people who have quoted l1 people who have quoted the least people who qualify people who participated people who quoted the least automatically gets the tender and that is approved by the board this is the normal routine practice and just not the process doesn't just stop there the process is that after they get the tender it's not just one company alone who once again is going to be participating for the whole of it the other participants also get 35% of the of the of of the quota if they were to match the the price so all these people participate all these people supply uh, supply 
uh, ghee and these kind of materials, whatsoever are required every six months during this course of uh, the, uh, the tendering process. The process just doesn't stop there. The process is after they are qualified and given the work order, these people are supp supposed to supply material and every tanker that they bring in should be accompanied by NABL approved lab certificates.